And then finally, we're going to be catching up with Rasso, who is a freelance singer-songwriter. We heard her first tune live on the show a couple of weeks ago. All fear is illusion. Don't expect change to happen overnight. Even if it's not always visible, it's making more impact than you think. If I could sum up the last three years of my life from this exact moment in time, then it would be in that one sentence. For those that are new here, my name is Wazo, and I'm working my way back to singing after many years of performing anxiety and giving up on my dreams of ever being a performer. This journey has been filled with frustration, setbacks, endless questions to the universe, desperation, unmet expectations, and a deep confrontation and examination of fear. Through it all, I've learned almost everything there is to know about fear. How to learn to observe it from a passive state, let it do what it does, be with it, and eventually allow it to pass its way through the body so that it can be let go. To love it without judgment, to have patience with it, and most importantly of all, know not to take it personally. The energy of fear is not personal. And once you know that, you can learn to witness it without getting caught up in it as much anymore. Fear comes and it goes, and that's okay. When you work through fear and doubt, you realize a lot of it stems from expectations that sometimes you didn't even know you had. Many think that having expectations is what allows you to fulfill everything you want in life, and that without them you just drift along without accomplishing anything. But paradoxically, I've realized, it's only when you drop them that you're finally able to embrace the present moment. You're not constantly trying to get somewhere else. A great being once said that expectation is limitation. Dropping expectations allows you true freedom because it means you're no longer resisting the journey. And when you're no longer resisting the journey, you're truly able to honor yourself and the present moment without trying to change what is. Sometimes the changes are so small, it's not always obvious how much progress you've made until you go back out into the world. Things that once the very thought of used to paralyze you with fear become mere ripples in consciousness. Okay, folks, please give a very warm welcome to our next guest. This is the first time here at the bridge. Please welcome, I hope I said this right, Wazo! Thanks, guys. It's my first open mic night as well, so. So I'm just in the car and I've literally just got home after doing my first ever open mic night. Um, and that was my first time performing in front of people in, I figured it out, like actually performing and getting up and playing piano and singing in front of people um, in 13 years. It's not until that you've gone through all this work and you put yourself in a situation that once used to terrify you, where you realize you don't behave the same way anymore, you don't react the same way anymore, that you realize how much you've changed. All the stories in your head, things that your mind tells you about fear, they're not true. None of it's true. It's just so not a big deal. And you can only show yourself that by going through it. You're safe, it's fine. Life is good. <laughs> to some, this may not be a big deal, but for someone who had to practice with all the windows and doors shut out of sheer embarrassment, and who'd cry after making just one small mistake, well, let's just say that this didn't happen overnight. And to think, it all started with sitting in the garden one day during lockdown and listening to the birds singing. Since then, it's been thousands of steps along the way. From the smaller things, which were big at the time, like starting a YouTube channel and posting my first shaky video. Hi everyone, and welcome to Viking Voice to going to an echoey tunnel day after day for seven months on the Frankfurt River during lockdown to sing a cappella to passers-by. It's a Saturday night during lockdown. It's about, um, yeah, 7.30 at night. I'm just by myself and I feel the call to sing. Even to the semi-ridiculous. 
hugging trees in public to observe my own mortification and horrendous mental chatter when I did so. My logic being, how can I even hope to perform in front of people if I can't even do something as simple as hug a tree in public? These smaller steps were intermingled with the big ones, like getting therapy, moving countries, giving up work, including turning down big jobs I didn't want to do anymore, writing my own music, and recording an EP. So many times I wanted to run, and did, but yet just as many that I didn't. So many days that I quit and stayed on the couch and gave myself a hard time for it, and yet just as many that I didn't. When you're going through it, it's hard to say just how much progress you're making until even bigger and bigger things start to happen. Right. So I'm going to uh, live stream you. No pressure. So let me just press this button which says go live and it counts on three, two, one. There we go, you're on now. So if I just put my camera there, you see. All right, exciting. You may, you may fall. Yeah, oh, okay, thank you. So this one is a brand new song uh, and it is called Solo. I saw you driving past me. Oh my god! First radio gig over, I did it. I'm so excited. There it is. There, 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 there. Pumped! A bit nervous to begin with, but that was freaking awesome. Now I'm gonna get out of here. Try not to get run over. If you tuned in, thank you so much. If you didn't, no worries. The podcast is gonna be live in like a few days. But I'll pop it up on Facebook. Yeah, I'm so excited! This journey isn't an easy one. It asks everything of you, and more than you even knew you were made of. Yet even through all the doubt and self-talk of, you must be crazy, the universe somehow always comes through, often right at the last moment. Of all the teachers, it is actually fear that has guided me to the greatest realizations. It has taught me how to live in a state of grace. To truly know and to realize that the only thing I know with certainty is that I know nothing at all. Just because I think something to be true and real doesn't make it so. It has taught me to manifest from a state of trust rather than a state of desire and wanting, and to truly accept with humility any outcome as positive, no matter what. This story is about so much more than singing. It's about so much more than merely confronting stage fright. It's a deep look at everything you thought to be true about yourself and the world, and realizing you were wrong pretty much about all of it. When you stop long enough to look, you realize that there is life all around you. It doesn't need to struggle to be. It just is, going about its business. In that isness, you realize, is an inherent intelligence that is far greater than what you'll ever know or understand. And that that same intelligence that's making the flowers grow, the birds to fly, and the seasons to change, is also carrying you along with it. If you fight it like I did, know that ultimately it will just keep bringing you back to the same basic realization, that all fear is illusion. Whatever you do, don't forget to celebrate the small victories, no matter how minute. It's the millions of small steps, the constant overcoming the limitations of your old self, the stuff that no one sees, that in the end, make you the master of your own life. Much love and respect on your own journeys.